Hello everybody, I'm Karina Chen with KarinasCreations.com. This is my second attempt at my Facebook Live, so hopefully everybody can find me. I don't like doing sideways videos. It kind of drives me crazy when I have to watch a video, even my own, and it's sideways. So hopefully I got a heart. Bilkis, am I the right way? It's been one of these days today for me, you guys. Sometimes things work perfectly, sometimes things don't. Hi, Bilkas. Give me a thumbs up if I'm going the right direction. I was sideways two minutes ago. So hopefully Joy and Sharon can find me again one of these days. Anyway, I'm going to be sharing with you today the art gallery stamp set and dies and the whole bundle. Oh, yay. Bilkas says I'm the right way. Thank goodness. Because I've got a few things that I wanted to share. So I'm going to share that along with a few more tips and tricks with the gilded leafing. We're also going to do a really fun Hey Birthday check card. And again, I'll throw some gilded leafing in there. And then well, we'll just have fun stamping today. So let me get started. Now, before I start, I should mention quickly celebration. I think everybody knows that celebration. I'm smiling right now. I got thumbs up. Thanks, Bilkis. Hi, Celine. And let's see, Joanne's here. Hello, Joanne. Hello, Brenda. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Karina Chin from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and it is minus 16 degrees Celsius today. I am not impressed. I got the paper yesterday and just even going to my mailbox, which is just right outside my front door, it is freezing, absolutely freezing. So not impressed with that. Anyway, so I will get started. So celebration when you place a $60 order, you can get beautiful paper. There's Paper Blossoms. There is Field and Flower. Oso Ombre. Or with the $120 order, you can get Berry Blessings. And then there's a whole bunch of stamp sets as well. Oh yeah, sorry, Berry Blessings comes with a stamp set and the Designer Series paper. And of course, my favorites, Darling Donkeys. And there's some other sets as well. I won't really go into it too much because I think most of you know about these great deals already. And then right now I wanted to mention quickly that the starter kit is on special. And why would you want to get the starter kit? Well, if you like wholesale prices, that's kind of what the starter kit is. Once you have a starter kit, you're basically placing your own orders and then you save 20% off every order that you do. The starter kit is $135 right now. You get $165 in product plus five packs of designer series paper. Now this is 200 sheets of paper. Like that is a lot of paper. And I love that it's basic colors so that you can use it on any project. So I thought that was awesome. I had two members join this week. And so I made them a card and I made this card using the gold uh, gilded leafing, which looks like this, which I'll show you in a second. And this was just applied with a piece of tear and tape adhesive. So super easy to make that. And then as well, when you join my team, or I basically, it's not really a team, it's more like a stamping community. I will also send you the card kits. So these are what the card kits look like for next Friday night. See, I always put the date on it, just so people know what they're getting. And I cut the pieces for the kits and then we just stamp together. So it's pretty fun. Pretty fun card night. And then it's always free the first month you sign up with me. And then after that, it's $5. So it's a pretty good value for the four cards. And the whole idea is just to share our love of stamping with each other and have a really fun time. So if you need, if you need more information, just let me know about that. Okay, was there anything else I had to mention? I think that was it. Okay, so on the weekend, I did a product spotlight demonstration and I picked fine art floral. If you've ever seen my stamping, I love flowers. I have a hard time using other stamp sets. I could mainly use flowers, but I know there's many other fun ones too. But this product suite blew me away and I haven't even tried to make the samples in here, but I will show you how to do this one off of the front cover because there's a bit of a trick to it. It looks easy, but it's easy when you know how to do it, right? Well, I see Gail's here, Cindy's here. Hello, hello, girls. Uh, let's see. So anyway, I love the product suite. The whole suite is $139.25, which means you can get a level two stamp set for free with celebration. 
And this is what the stamp set looks like. These are the dies. Okay, and the dies actually look like this. So they're fun. I really, really like the just want to say, because you could just say, you know, just to say thank you. Because it's got all these kind of filler pieces. Just to say happy birthday. Just want to say miss I miss you. Like super useful sentiments. And I love the fact that the sentiments will actually stamp on one of these little die cut pieces as well. So super cute. And then you also have the die cut pieces for the main images of the flowers. And then this flower as well. And this is a two step stamping two-step stamping it's called because you can layer the colors one on top of the other and they line up perfectly. Well, I'm actually going to show you how to do three-step right away, but that's the bundle. The bundle you can get for $68.25. You don't have to get the whole product suite. It is a lot. This is the paper. The paper is just so beautiful and I'm actually featuring this as my stamp set of the month. I have a few girls who get the stamp set and I usually make them a PDF tutorial and I can either send the card kits or make them the cards. They usually want me to make them the cards, which kind of makes me laugh, but I guess it must be fun getting three cards in the mail. So if anybody wants to get the cards for this, as well as a PDF tutorial, you can get it free with $60 order along with your celebration item. So let me know if you're interested in that. Also in this product suite, you get this beautiful ribbon. And again, you can just buy it by itself or you can get the whole bundle. Although the bundle might be sold out right now, I'd have to check. You might have to buy this in pieces. I have to double check that. Um, there is also this beautiful painted texture 3D embossing folder, which is just really fun. That's actually how it embosses. It looks like gesso, uh, which you kind of put on your cardstock that gives dimension and layer to your cards. So that's kind of fun. And then I'll show you the overlays. There's three overlays that come if you buy the product suite too, or you can just get them by themselves. It's Golden Garden Designer Series. Yeah, Golden Garden Designer Specialty Acetate. Okay, let's say that 10 times. Oh, what a tongue twister. But it's kind of fun because one side's silver, one side's gold. There's a plastic film on the back that you can actually pull off. Well, you need to pull it off if you're going to attach it to your project. And then what I've been doing is cutting this one down and just using it as little accent pieces on my cards. The other two overlays line up perfectly on the designer series paper. Like, look how beautiful that is. What a fast card. So if you're doing a card front, you can actually get six out of here for sure if you cut it down to four inches by five and a quarter, plus you'd have a piece left over, or you can make it three by four inches, right? And make some beautiful cards. This is the overlay that lines up with this designer series paper piece. So it just shows you how beautiful it is. And I will show you one card that I did make with this on the weekend. Let me see, let me see. Oh, let's see here. Let me get my cards. This is it here, wasn't that pretty? And I actually put the gilded leafing on with stamp and seal. I just took stamping seal, went around a piece of very vanilla cardstock, rubbed the gilded leafing on, and then put on my designer series paper with the acetate layer. So super simple. This one I shared on my blog the other day. I was just sort of demonstrating how beautiful the paper was and the three step, step stamping. This one's a bit of a technique. Um, we put, I put tear and tape adhesive strips down and then my designer series paper on top and then rubbed in the golded, gilded leafing on top. So, you know, just simple, beautiful cards. And then today I'm gonna show you how to make the basis of this one. We won't make the exact card because I'm doing this one. I didn't have time to do my full demo and didn't get to do this card done. So I think we'll make this card. And then if you stick around, here's a sneak peek of the chicken card. There it is. Okay. So, and if you can't stick around, come back and watch it later. And I really want to thank people who like and share my video. And also if you 
join my YouTube channel. I'm actually at 712 subscribers. I can't believe it. I think I need a thousand before I can do go live. So I need, what's that? 286 more friends. No, I'm probably off a little bit on there, but you know what I mean. So I drew, I try to draw names every time for people who like or share the video. And I drew Susan's name from last week. So Susan Taniguchi, I will send these pearls to you in the mail. And uh, that's kind of my thank you because you guys watch me all the time and I truly, truly do appreciate it. Okay, should we do some stamping now? You're probably thinking, Karina, you've talked so long. Talk, 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 talk. Okay, let's do this one first. Because the fun thing about this is, like I said, it's on the front of the catalog. And did you know, oh, I see Marty's here. Hello, Marty. Hello, Vicki. I'm so happy you guys are here. Welcome. Uh, see, I'm like a squirrel. It's so easy to get me distracted. Okay, so I'm sharing this card on the front of the catalog because did you know if you have a demonstrator number, you can actually go into the Stampin' Up! website and get recipes for all the beautiful cards in here. And at first, someone might go, well, you know, what's the big deal about that? You know what? It's kind of fun. If you need an idea, you pull the recipe and you try to recreate what the Stampin' Up! designers have done. And I find I always learn something from it. There's always some new tip or trick or it's a puzzler sometimes how to figure these things out. This one had me stumped, which is why I'm sharing it with you because it looks pretty simple, right? Oh, you're welcome, Susan. You're here. Congratulations on winning the pearls this week. Okay, so what I did for this card, let's just set this aside. First of all, I wanted to create... You know, just a little bit of texture on the back. I could put it in the embossing folder, but I didn't. So I actually took this stamp. And do I flirty flamingo? I like doing uh, color on color. So let's do flirty flamingo. I'm going to slide my cards this way. It's so dark and gloomy outside. I think it's snowing again. It's hard to get some good lighting today. Okay, am I in the video? Yes, I am. Oh, and I should mention, if you guys live in Canada and you wanted to order, you can go to karinachin.stampinup.net. The hostess code this month is SQGFGFEC. With a $65 order, I will send you 62 tutorials for the Dandy Garden bundle. And they're all done by different demonstrators, and there's such great ideas on them. So that's kind of my bonus this month. And as well, if you place your order before Sunday, I'll send you three cards as well with this art gallery. Three card kits with the art gallery product suite. Unless you want the made cards and you tell me tonight, I'm working on these tonight for the other girls in the group. Okay, so I've got that done. There's my background. We'll set this aside. And now this is a bit of a puzzler part. Okay, so Stampin' Up! sells these adhesive sheets. One side is sticky, one side is not. So I basically die cut this with my rectangular stitched die. This is kind of garbage. This is the frame, but the puzzler piece was I had to do it a certain way so that the sticky backing is placing up and my gilded leafing will stick to it. So this is what I had to do. I think I went through, I don't know how many sheets I went through. It took me a while to figure it out. It seems simple. Uh, and if you've never used the adhesive sheets before, I highly recommend them. They will make your life a lot simpler just by using the adhesive sheet because it turns your die cut pieces into a sticker. Now I notice my frame is not even, but you know what? I think the paper is so beautiful and when I add the gilded leafing on it, nobody is going to care. So I'm putting adhesive on the side. This is very vanilla cardstock. So it's not the plastic backing of the uh, adhesive sheet. So you can see this won't take me very long to do. Okay, let's give that a second to just set. And I use my liquid glue because sometimes I need a few seconds of wiggle room. And then I got to let it dry. So on this piece, I'm going to show you my two-step stamping or three-step stamping today. And I believe I use Petal Pink. So we'll just put that. And I think I'm going to have to trim this down a bit. Ooh, what is under that? 
Hold on a second. I'll get some scrap paper. You know what? We're just going to go like this. And you're probably thinking, what is she doing? It's okay. It's all good. No cards were hurt in the making of this video. We are good to go. So two-step stamping. There is kind of a background piece, and then there is um, kind of an accent piece. So this bottom layer, I want to be in Flirty Flamingo. No, Petal Pink. Hold on. Da -da -da. See, it's a good thing I cut lots of paper. Wow. There we go. Third time's a charm. Okay, now this layer I want to be petal pink. And when I line this up, you see this kind of one, two, the second petal? I'm going to line it up on here on my image. And make sure I got it here. Lined up. And then I wanted a little pop of Poppy Parade. So we can actually do three step stamping. Ooh, what am I going to do with all the extra flowers? Now I'll have lots of fun cards to make. I'm doing a really big event this weekend with Candy Rattray and Jen Pitta in the States. And we're doing it all on Facebook on Saturday. So that's mainly what has been taking up my time. Uh, we've got everything ready to go. I was so excited with the pillow gift bags everybody got. So hopefully everybody liked them. Okay, there we go. And then I need to... Looks like my old olive ink pad's a little bit light, but that's okay. Okay, now I have to do a little bit of surgery because I really wanted this to fit in my mini stamp and emboss machine. So did everybody get one of these for their tabletop? Or maybe you have a really big craft room that you have the regular cut and emboss and die machine. This I mainly use for my videos. You can see it's not very well used. Okay, so you put this down. Ooh, I have to cut on it. I have to cut on it. Now, will that fit? Not quite, so we'll just, you know, trim it a bit. There we go. I would have pre-done this, but uh, I was so excited about making my chicken card that it just didn't happen. It doesn't take much to excite me. You know, give me a couple cute chickens, a couple card stock pieces. And I can play all day. Okay, now because I don't want to pull out my big stampin' cut and emboss machine, I'm just going to do this twice so it'll fit through. So let's roll this through. The thing I love about this, it catches. And it rolls through really easy. And it's smooth. So, I mean, if you are a new stamper, you can get this and have a lot of fun playing with it. Okay, and then now I'm going to do this one and I have to kind of cut it out because I didn't stamp that I didn't strategically cut my paper to the width of my little cut and emboss and die cut machine but that's okay you know what I'm doing right this is so fun and then last night I had my hugs and kisses card class so that was really fun I've got six valentine cards made and I probably want to do about 30 so we'll see if I get that done because I really wanted to send everybody a Valentine's card this year. I just thought this is the year everybody's stuck at home. Nobody is going out for dinner to restaurants. So it would be a really nice thing to do. But we'll see if I get it done. Okay, so what have I got? I've got this piece done. I've got my card base done. This is now scrap paper. This is extra. I can make a card with that later. Okay, and I think, you know what, let's do our gilded leafing. So my first tip is get in a place where this stuff can go everywhere. It's pretty messy. Okay, the next thing I need to do is peel off my adhesive sheet. And if you find this is messy for you, I've been using this all the time. This works just as well. Oh, see it fly? All I did was open it and it's got a mind of its own. But man, is this stuff beautiful. And it's just kind of flaky and you just pull off a little bit and lay it on. I'm just gonna use some that's already in my bucket. 
and then I'll get some new stuff. And I had more success when I rubbed it in. You can use heat and stick powder, right? That also works really well. Okay, and don't sneeze. Whatever you do, do not sneeze when you are using this product or you will, well, you'll be laughing so hard because there'll be gold little flakes everywhere. Now this stuff is really fun. I think this would make a really fun product-based class where everybody gets a bottle of gilded leafing and we just play, uh, just play and create together. So that might be a fun class down the road. Now, if I have a little spot, I would just add a bit of mono, uh, mono multi glue or the green glue as I like to call it as well. Okay, let's put this back. Oh, it doesn't help. Alberta is so dry and very staticky. This is not the best uh, product to be using today, I must say. I don't know what it is about our winters. But I feel like we've had a very mild January, so it's actually been quite nice. Okay, can you guys see how I'm just gently rubbing it off now with the sponge? Looks like I missed a little spot, so I'll just go in after and fix that up, or maybe my flower will cover it. I always tell people that you can never really goof this stuff up or goof up a card, right? There's always a way to fix it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, ta-da! What do you think of that beautiful frame? See how I have a little smidge of paper at the side? That's okay. I'll just fix that up after. If I really want to, I don't think anybody's really going to be looking at it too carefully. What do you think? Okay, there we go. So that is Gilded Leafing, part two. And Kim's here too. Hello, Kim. This is my demo I didn't get to finish on the weekend. I ran out of time. I could probably talk about this product for at least an hour, minimum. And then this weekend, I'm doing a whole product spotlight on a whole product on the Hydrangea product suite. So I'm so excited about that as well. Okay, look at this. My leaf covers up my little spot and that'll look cute. So this one I'm just going to glue down like this because I got to get to my chicken cart, right? Okay, here we go. And then we will pop up the, pop up the flowers or the flower. So I used to run a scrapbooking retreat once a year in October. And my one friend, Kristen, who usually comes, because of course with COVID, we can't be doing that. Um, she showed us a picture. She was scrapbooking her chicken. She had a chicken coop in her backyard this year. And she put the, or sorry, not this year, last year. And she actually put the chicken in an Oilers jersey and took a picture of it. It was the cutest little thing. Or sorry, it was a chick, a baby chick. It was so cute though. I think that was the cutest scrapbook page ever. Okay, so I'm looking for my ribbon. The other cool thing you can do about the ribbon is if you want to get really artistic about it, you can, you know, pull some of the threads off. And then you can actually pull one out. And then it gathers the ribbon, right? So you can do a whole bunch of cool things with the ribbon. I'm not going to. I'm just going to do it straight right now. Da -dum, here we go. Let's put it right here. I think that's about good. I'm trying to stay in the light. I don't know why it's so dark today. I should have a light coming from this side. Okay, and I've already stamped the happy birthday. So now I have a thinking of you and I have a happy birthday. Anybody have a birthday today? I could send you the card. I am really behind on my birthdays. So I need a sorry I'm late or happy belated birthday this month. But after January, every I kind of catch up, so it's all good. Okay, what do you think? Thumbs up if you like that card. Not too bad. Oh, are you excited about the Hydrangea Suite? Yes, Joy is coming on the 30th to my event. And it's all run through Facebook, so I'm really excited to see how it's going to work. And Susan's coming too. I see Susan's on here. Okay, there we go. So that's card number one. Now, I'm just going to show you how to make the fancy fold for card number two. I want to do a full video for it for Stamp Set of the Month. 
This is what it looks like. It's a trifold card. What do you think of that? Isn't that pretty? Using this product suite and then it's got a pull out tab. You know, I was thinking you could put maybe a coffee gift card or something or A&W because we can drive through A&W and get some yummy burgers. Okay, so how do you make this? I am doing it based around some free paper. Let's use our free celebration paper. So this is called Paper Blooms, free with a $60 order. And you can do the same thing, only I just use the designer series paper from the art gallery product suite. So basically you use the side you want, this side gets covered up. Now because I don't know what flowers I'm using, I'm just gonna go like this. And you can use liquid glue, you can use tear and tape adhesive. I'm gonna use tear and tape adhesive because liquid glue would require me to actually let it dry and I don't trust myself today. Okay, so I'm only adding tear and tape adhesive on three sides of the designer series paper. This is my opening. So we wanna leave that open. So I have a pocket. And this is five and a half inches by 12 inches. And like I said, I won't finish off this card just because I have to do a video for it for my stamp set of the month. And I have to prep my hydrangea demo that I uh, haven't started yet. And then also on the Friday night, we're doing team training. So my talk is on customer service because I love, uh, I love doing customer service. I think that's one of my strong suits. I used to work for a bank and I actually got a customer service award way back when. Okay, so now that you've got your two sides together, you're gonna take your bone folder. Ooh, this is my inky one, that's a little dangerous. Okay, and this is your card. And you're probably thinking, okay, what is she gonna do with that, right? Well, it's okay, because you're gonna pull out your most amazing paper trimmer ever. If you don't have this Stampin' Up! one, you may want to consider it. It is really good. I'm really fussy about my products, and I will truly tell you what to buy and what not to buy. Okay, let's see here. So I'm scoring it at 4 inches and 8 inches, and that gives me my three panels. Okay, and then what you do is, this one is going to get folded in this way, and sometimes you just put the you know, the paper close to the score line. And then make a nice crisp crease with your bone folder. So I actually cleaned out my crafting bag the other day. Can anybody guess how many bone folders I found? I kept thinking I was losing them. Oh, Gail says I am good at customer service. Thank you, Gail. Yeah, so bone folders, I was gonna make it a gift or a, a little thing with bone folders. It won't happen. Look at this. Okay, is this not a little bit excessive? <laughs> and I obviously was losing them because I kept buying them, so I had to laugh. So I am stocked on bone folders. I thought that just made me laugh. Okay, so what's gonna happen? The card is done. I'm not sure, I'm, I think I might do a chicken or something on here. I haven't totally decided yet. And then your pocket, card just fits in there nicely. It does fit in a regular envelope. I think I've got about, oh, how much ribbon? 26 inches? I don't know. And then it will look like this when it's done. So I will post a picture of this on my, on my blog and in the Facebook page when I eventually get it done. But that's how you make a trifold pocket card. So if anybody makes one and makes a super cute one, uh, send it to me. I'd love to post it and love to see what you make. Okay, my last project for the day, let's do chickens. Okay, customers can order this February 2nd. So I should take a step back. In the mini catalog right now, anybody can buy the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set. And then starting February 2nd, you can get the coordinating dies for the Hey Birthday Chick, which is super cute and I'll show you why. And then from Celebration, I think two years ago, from two years, oh, I love these guesses. Joy 20, that is excessive. 
Yeah, I think the answer was six, sorry. And then anybody from two years ago could have got this as a celebration item, and I think it was one of the top sellers. So starting February 2nd, customers can buy this as well as the coordinating dies. So if you've got your celebration set from two years ago, you just need to get the dies with it. And look at the farmhouse, look at the little corn stalk. Like it's just super cute. And I haven't had a chance to play with it yet. I'm gonna have a Hey Birthday Chick Cards That Move class, specialty class in February. I have to send out my schedule right away. But anyway, I thought let's make a Hey Birthday Chick Valentine's card. So that's what I've started for you. So let's put this little guy together. Now I have used the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper again. Why? Because I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. It's free. Let's, what's that expression Kylie Bertucci uses? Love it, chop it. Well, I'm going to go one further and say, love it, chop it, use it, mail it. So let's just not chop our paper. Let's use it up and mail it out to the completed card to a friend. Because I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit of a paper hoarder, I have to say. Okay, so what have I got for pieces here? I thought we'd speed this up. So I cut this little die cut fence from Hey Birthday. Oh no, yeah, Hey Birthday Chick Dies. There's a little fence. Now I could take my blending brush... Is there anything on here? You know, and blend it so that the sky is blue. I don't have any blue ink near me and it'd be quite a production. Oh, I do have a little bit out of here. Okay, there, I have a little bit of a blue sky. I should have pre-planned this and then I could have had a bit of dirt for the ground, but you know what? Hey, I've got gray. Let's use, oh, I've got Knight of Navy. Can I have Knight of Navy? Okay, let's just put up a little bit here. I'm just gonna dab it off on a block so I don't have, this could be a big mistake. No, look at that. Okay, if you haven't got any of these blending brushes, they are fantastic. Okay, that works. Okay, it's very, very light. I don't want it too dark. I'm afraid if I go really dark, someone will say, why is there like Knight of Navy on the ground? Okay, let's put our fence in. Or in, let's put our fence on the card. Because, you know, when I made this this morning, I thought, hey, I should do a Hey Chick Valentine's. And, of course, I was throwing this together at 11 this morning because that's how I roll. I was going to do a whole demo just on art gallery. But then people who were at the event on Saturday would be totally bored. So this is my kind of alternative chicken project. Okay, so I've already stamped this little guy. And uh, we're not going to use a balloon. Because did you know that these hearts are actually still in a bundle? So the bundle has the scallop heart die and then the solid heart plus the heartfelt stamp set. Or you can just buy the punches if you want. I have a feeling that they will not be rolling over in the annual catalog because they've been around for two years. In fact, I totally forgot about them. Okay. Let's just quickly color my, my chicken. I wanted to make him pool party. Do you think I could have done a pool party chicken? Maybe I could have. And then I thought, no, that might be kind of weird. Now you're supposed to add shading. I'm not doing a very good job today. So I suggest that you buy the stamp and make your own chicken card and make him super cute. So the idea with this blends is that you put your light, or you can start with dark, whatever you want to use. I always like to start light, and then I can add my shading in. Oh, who needs a new blend? I do. Okay, so let's just add some highlights to my chicken here. I want the light coming in from this way. That's the idea anyway. Don't know if I'm doing a good job with that. And then if I go over the line again, see how it just blends it out so it's not so harsh. And then it just adds a little bit of accent. It's kind of nice if you leave a few white spaces in your uh, thing that you're coloring, in your chicken. And here we go. Let's give him a little orange beak. Someone will say it's not a beak. Okay, I grew up on, in a mining town and there were no farms anywhere near where I lived. 
So the first farm I really got up close to was my friend Cindy's grandma's farm. And I saw a cow up close. And I'm telling you, I was so excited. She thought I was a little crazy. I think Cindy was on here earlier. Ooh, who's saying Gail? Big time paper hoarder. Yeah, let's use it, Gail. And hello, Linda. Linda how are you today? Anyway, so I got up per close and personal to a cow. And oh my gosh, it was so cute. So cute. Mind you, I guess if you've never been in a mining town before, you might actually think it was pretty fascinating. I used to do underground tours in one of the mines. Uh, well, more of the manufacturing plant. I got to go on a tour of the underground mines, but we couldn't really take people down there. Not very safe, I have to say, but it was super cool. Okay, so there's my chicken, and we've got a little heart balloon does it look like a balloon or does it look like I'm, if I kind of put it off to the side. Yeah, we're centering it. I got to have it centered. It's got a string, right? What do you think? Am I reaching too much or is this going to work? So it says, Happy Valentine's Day. And you know, this card isn't that bad. I think I could actually make a bunch of these. I'm going to have it go off the paper a little bit. Yeah, I'm, you know what? I think this is pretty darn cute. So, thank you to Bilkis and Sharon for giving me this idea last night when we were stamping our Valentine's cards. Okay, now this is what I was going to try. This might not work. So bear with me. Oh, hold on. I got to put the inside in here because we got to have an inside panel with dark colored cardstock. And make sure you stamp your envelope. Right? Because look, uh, what I was going to do was stamp the little chick and have him dancing in here. And then I'll put him on the envelope. But I might have to finish that off for you later because my video is already running long. Okay, so this is what I'm going to try to do. Let's put down tear and tape adhesive all over this heart. And I should be using my take your pick tool. Do you guys love my nails today? Aren't they pretty? Not pretty, not pretty at all. They all broke, so I'm giving them a break from nail polish. I don't know, maybe, is that just a myth where acetone can, acetone from nail polish remover can destroy your nails? Am I totally mistaking something there? Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. I should have just used my heat and stick powder, but I don't have my heat gun close by. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm folding this over. Oh, and I see I got one little space. Double darn. Okay, there we go. Ooh, but I have a bit of overhang here. So let's pull that off and put that in that hole. Okay, why didn't I leave it pink? Somebody remind me. This is a lot of work here. Oh my goodness, look at the overhang on here. That's okay though. That's okay, run with it, right? Okay, now I have a big sticky gooey mess. Dare I put it in the gilded leafing? Anybody scared for me? Oh, here's some excess stuff. Let's just pick this up. Yeah, we're just gonna go. We're gonna dump. Ready? Corinne, hello Corinne. You love chickens. I know I love chickens too. Now, like I said, maybe if I grew up on a farm, are chickens nice, you guys, or are they not nice? I've never really been around a chicken before. I'm a dog person, so I love dogs. I often go around and want to walk people's dogs. I don't have one yet. My daughter's begging me to get a dog. But I don't know if I have time. This is my strategy. Somebody's going to go back to work once COVID is over and not going to want to deal with their dog. And then I'll pick up a used dog that's like two years old, fully trained. And it won't cost me $3,000. How's that for a strategy? Oh, what do you think of that? Do we like the gold heart? I think the gold heart is cool. I don't really know if it goes with the colors in my card, but you know what? I'm doing a gilded leafing theme here, so we better we better add the heart. So it is Rococo Rose on one side and gilded leafing on the other. Okay, look at these things. I vacuumed my house the other day. They were everywhere, like literally everywhere. Okay, so that is my card. What do you think of my demo today? 
So I showed you the technique on how to create a frame with the gilded leafing. We did gilding leafing with the tear and tape adhesive. And then I showed you the start of how to make a trifold card because I think that'll be a whole other video by itself. But I hope I've given you some great ideas today. If you wanted to place an order, you can go to sqgf, or sorry, go to karinachan.stampinup.net. The hostess code is SG, sorry, SQGF, GFEC. Ooh, I had to concentrate for that one. That was a puzzler for me. Okay, and then if you use that code, what it does is it links all the small orders together, and then I can get hostess benefits, and that's what I use for all the door prizes for my videos. So if you're ordering more than 200, do not use this code because you get to be the hostess. So make sure you take your own hostess products. And if you're spending more than 200, consider getting the starter kit for 135. It's a way better deal right now. And we just had an announcement that on tour will be coming. They're going to be doing it online, which is a Stampin' Up! event. And I think registration opens on February 10th. So if you have a demo number or you're fairly new to Stampin' Up!, ask me about that. We just got the notification today on the Stampin' Up! website. Hello, Leona. Hello, Celine. Everybody's here now. Okay, so I am finished my card. If you need to contact me, just leave me a message and I'll try to get back to you. And otherwise, I hope you enjoyed my demo today. Thank you so, so much for watching me. Bye.